I'm a get it done kind of guy. So if I know conversation is the key to all closings, just give me a list of every owner in the, in the market and give me a phone. Let me get to work. I need to get these thousands of one-on-one -on -one conversations behind me so I can get on to bigger and better things. I need to go ahead and get this million dollars a year rolling in so I can go build other businesses. Thirty-four percent of people choose their agent because they had a friend in the business with a great reputation. So when you think about that key factor right there, right, overwhelmingly, the reason why a seller chooses an agent to list the properties is because they feel like they have a friend in the business. So what does that tell us as agents if we want more listings? We have to make friends with sellers in the market. It's really that simple. So we're just reverse engineering ourselves into a position to have listings. If you're going up against an agent with a seller and the other agent is a, fr they're a friend of theirs, you have very low ch I mean you, you you have a very low chance of getting that listing, okay? So so what we have to do is we have to think about okay, how can we be the friend? How can we be the friend with the seller who is thinking about selling, who ends up deciding to list their property with an agent? How can we be that friend that they decide to list with? These are the things you need to be thinking about. And so now it turns into a game of, are you a good friend maker? Are you a good communicator? Do people like you? Right? And when you meet people, do you end up making a great first impression that then you could possibly build on? at that point, right? These are, the, these are the skills that are needed to get listings, right? You gotta be a great friendship maker. That's really the bottom line. Once you understand the logics behind that, now it just becomes a game of, how do we talk to massive amounts of sellers? How do we put ourselves in position to meet sellers, to have that opportunity to create that great first impression and make friends with them? This is, this is, I'm just breaking it down real simple so that you guys understand the basics of how you get listings, right? It doesn't come down to setting appointments and, you know, getting them to sign the listing or what your marketing strategy is. That's not what's, that's not what's up. What's up is that they like you and they feel like you're a friend and they get that nice family-like warm feeling that they're comfortable with you and they like the way you move, they like the way you operate, they like the way you talk, they like the way you work, they like the way that you market yourself after the fact. When you make that great first impression, now it's a matter of how do we stay in front of that person we made that great first impression with so that they never forget about that great first impression. Because most people make a great first impression and then they don't stay in touch and then that first impression, the feeling that that client, that prospect got kind of fades away. But if they get the great first impression and then you're hitting them up that next day, that next week, that next week, that next week, they just never forget you were that nice, agent that just wanted to help them and they got this nice warm feeling about you and they're like, I'm gonna call them when I'm ready to do something. That's how you get a ton of listings. If your goal is to make a million dollars a year, gross commissions, okay? You gotta understand that you're embarking on a journey over the next three to five years of thousands of one-on-one -on -one conversations with people in your market. You're not gonna get from where you are now to a million a year in commissions unless you realize the only thing between you and that million dollars a year over the next three to five years are thousands of one-on-one -on -one conversations with people in your market. That is the only thing between you and that million dollars a year. Having those great, those one-on-one -on -one conversations, maybe 30% of those conversations turn into people who like you enough to do business Right? You take those people, you nurture those people, you stay in touch with those people, you build a great business. A lot of people look at prospecting like, I don't wanna prospect forever, so I don't wanna get started. If you do it right, you build relationships, you build brand after the fact, you can build your business up to the point where you don't have to prospect anymore. That's the motherland in real estate. 
where you've got your income up to the point where now you can live off your database without prospecting for new people and close the amount of business you want to close every year. That's where I've been since 2017. I hit a million dollars in 2017, quit prospecting, living off my database, hit a million dollars ever since. Because once you build it up to that point, you can turn that prospecting key off and just live off your database. The reason why you see agents build their business up to 200,000 a year and then just do 200 forever, 200, 200, 200, 200, is because they turn that prospecting key off when they hit 200 thinking that they didn't have to prospect anymore, the business would kind of grow itself. But wherever you turn that prospecting key off and just rely on the database, whatever income level you were at at that time, that's where you stay. Remember, the only thing between you and a million dollars a year are thousands of one-on-one -on -one conversations. If that's the case, then line me up as many phone numbers as I can get and let me chip away at that number as much as I can on a daily basis because I'm trying to get to where I want to be as quick as possible. I'm not trying to prolong the, the, uh, the process or try to you know, walk around the inevitable here. If you go out and get Zillow leads, Facebook leads, um, open houses, direct mail, Every lead generation source comes back to the same exact thing. You're going to have to talk to them. You're just prolonging the inevitable doing all these other activities and waiting on leads to come in and, you know, gathering data at open houses and sending mail, hoping people call you. I'm a get it done kind of guy. So if I know conversation is the key to all closings, just give me a list of every owner in the, in the market and give me a phone. Let me get to work. I need to get these thousands of one-on-one -on -one conversations behind me so I can get on to bigger and better things. I need to go ahead and get this million dollars a year rolling in so I can go build other businesses and invest stuff and spend time with the family. I'm not gonna pitter-patter around with, you know, uh, waiting on leads to come in and spending a ton of money on marketing when I just gotta turn right around and call the people anyway. It's the same people you're calling. Right? Makes sense. Makes sense, yes. Do you use the dialer system? Mm. And if so, which one? Yeah, yeah. So that's the greatest thing that ever happened to agents because, again, the only thing between you and that million is thousands of one on one conversations. And since they came out with auto dialers, it's like, this just like supercharges the process. It's like puts it on, you know, light speed here. Well, now you can do things 10 times faster because that, at the end of the day, is your most important activity, making friends with people in the market, voice to voice, letting them feel who you are, that you're somebody who cares, works hard, is dependable, consistent, you're everything they want in an agent, you know, but they're not really going to get that out of a Facebook ad or a video or a, until you're talking to them one-on-one, -on -one, they're not going to fully get you yeah, some of this stuff will warm them up. And, and, and listen, again, guys, I could care less what lead generation you use. Go get millions of Facebook leads, get Zillow leads, do open houses, whatever your lead gen of choice is, go for it. That doesn't matter to me. What matters to me is volume of one-on-one -on -one conversations. Whatever lead gen source you do so choose, it better be one that is producing a high amount at a high frequency one-on-one -on -one conversations with people in your market or you're just basically sitting still you've got to develop relationships and accumulate those into a database and then stay in touch with them forever it's just one-on-one -on -one stuff you guys can build your million dollar business way quicker than it took me to do I did it the hard way because all this technology wasn't available. So recognize the opportunity that you have to use these tools to have these one-on-one -on -one conversations at a high frequency and take advantage and um, you know build that database up as fast as you can get it so you can get all, all this real estate sales stuff behind you because listen guys, there, honestly, there's better stuff to do, right? Build this thing up, million dollars a year, have it on autopilot through past clients and referrals. Go build other businesses. You guys aren't through. I mean, if you're in real estate, you're an entrepreneur. You know, you're, you're in business. You're a business owner, right? You're not an employee. You're not working by the hour. You're working by production. You're building business. You've got to have some kind of fire inside of you that wants to go out and build more businesses. You know, figure this thing out. You know, get it done. 
It's not that hard, it just takes a lot of time, there's a lot of sweat equity involved. Um, but just make it about people. 